Today I'm gonna to share with you exactly how to lose weight with OMAD, one meal a day. Now I made this transformation with OMAD and without OMAD I would not have broken my like two year long weight loss plateau. Ever since I jumped into OMAD I was able to get to Wonderland and lose a total of 107 pounds. I think OMAD is incredibly effective and I'm going to share with you exactly what I did to lose this weight, keep it off, and to keep the momentum going. Hi, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Daniela Joy and I've lost over 100 pounds on my weight loss journey. This is my progress thus far and I restarted my weight loss journey last September after getting into a car accident that triggered a whole plethora of chronic pain issues that I'm dealing with to this moment today and it caused a lot of binge eating and emotional eating but ever since I started doing OMAD it really helped to keep everything at bay so let's get into it OMAD stands for one meal a day now the way I do OMAD is that I have a snack and then I have my meal number one thing when doing OMAD is during the day when you are fasting you want to make sure you are getting in plenty of fluids and electrolytes in the form of sodium and potassium you want to be able to get in your electrolytes and fluid if you choose to drink coffee that's up to you because i started off omad with drinking tons of coffee however i am now not drinking coffee because my coach doesn't like the idea of coffee and he says it ruins your gut health and it causes a plethora of issues which I agree with but to each their own number two you are going to fast a minimum of 20 hours per day 20 hours no less than 20 hours be consistent with the fasting then you are going to exercise before breaking your fast you want to get an exercise right before you start eating because exercise helps to reduce your hunger and it helps to make things easier i absolutely love this routine it's the current routine i am on now to finish the last 20 or 30 pounds of my weight loss journey once you are done exercising you are then going to have a small snack no more than 400 calories and it is very important when you're doing OMAD to count your calories because you could be doing one meal a day but you can actually be overdoing that one meal a day at the end of the day weight loss is about being in a caloric deficit and if you are just going to eat copious amounts of food within a four hour window you are defeating the purpose of OMAD you're just eating like a fat pig at the end of the day you want control the reason why OMAD is so effective is that it reduces your dopamine hit for those of you who struggle with food addiction if you're here losing weight I'm sure you do struggle with food addiction or a sugar addiction so it reduces your dopamine hit throughout the day there's benefits to fasting it puts you in autophagy it kicks up your ketone levels and ketone levels tend to crush hunger now i'm personally doing omad keto and let me know if you want a video on how to lose weight with omad keto just drop it in the comments below and i'll go into more detail about the power of omad keto i love omad keto or keto omad so omad is powerful in that aspect so once you have that 400 calorie meal you're gonna wait half an hour to an hour and then you are going to have the rest of your calories. Please ensure that you are in a caloric deficit. Please do not overeat on OMAD because again, you are going to ruin it. So you have your meal. It can be a large meal. Personally, I like to break up my meals because I like the idea of eating every hour until I hit my caloric goal. Right now, I am consuming 1,500 calories. So a typical old night day for me looks like waking up, getting my son ready for school, going to the doctor's or a physiotherapist appointment. That is pretty much my full-time job now is healing this body from the car accident. Then I go to the gym. I'm at the gym around 11 a.m. to about maybe 12, one or two. Then I pick up my son, take care of him, 
and then I break my fast around 3 or 4 o'clock p.m. It all depends on when I had my last meal. I break my fast minimum 20 hours and then I have a small meal. I wait half an hour to an hour later. I have probably another small meal around the 400 calorie range and then I do that again and then I do that again until I hit my caloric goal of 1500 calories and then I stop. Now the key with OMAD is that you don't want to be eating more than two hours before bed. That's a good rule. I stop eating around 7.38. I like to not eat past that because I go to bed around 10. So that is exactly how you lose weight with OMAD. You want to do it in this way. I find it it's the most effective way. Let me know in the comments below. If you have any more questions about OMAD, how I lost this weight, please ask them below and I will answer them. And thank you so much for being here. If you got to this point in the video, just drop in a bunch of clock emojis because it's all about the fasting time. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye.